In this video, we're talking about exactly what architectural engineers do, and we're starting right now. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If this is your first time here, guys, and you wanna be a successful engineer, make sure you start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. You heard it in the intro, guys. This video is all about architectural engineering. The second most viewed video on this channel is architecture versus civil engineering. So if you're not exactly sure what the differences are, check out that video, I'll tag it up here. Architectural engineering is a blend between between architecture and engineering, so it's exactly what the title sounds. However, it is a much more niche type of engineering. For example, the 2017 graduate numbers are not out yet, but the 2016 numbers show there were 19 times more civil engineers that graduated in the US alone versus architectural engineering, 11 and a half thousand versus only 618 architectural engineering majors. And there's only 23 accredited engineering programs in the US compared to civil engineering, which has 247 so over 10 times more programs. And if you're trying to decide between architecture and architectural engineering and civil engineering, I'll make a different video for that. But someone who is torn between math and creativity and design should potentially look at architectural engineering. Comment below if you're interested in architectural engineering and if you're trying to decide between this and maybe architecture or civil engineering. Architects tend to be very into creativity, very into design, and may not be as strong in math and science. And civil engineers are more theoretically math-based and they also have the opportunity to go into transportation or environmental or water resources or geotech. You're not gonna have to work in the building industry, which is exactly what architectural engineers do. They're gonna have a career in buildings. So now that you have just a quick snapshot of the type of person that is maybe a good fit for architectural engineering, let's jump right into what exactly architectural engineers do. Architectural engineers apply science and technology to the real world by designing buildings that enhance our standard of living and improve our quality of life. They they do this by combining building systems, structural, electrical, mechanical, lighting, acoustics, and fire protection into an integrated whole. These creative problem solvers are constantly faced with the challenges of the future like sustainable building materials and green energy sources. Architectural engineers are trained to use the latest technologies like computer-based building design and analysis softwares, for example Revit, eQuest, and Riza 3D along with BIM, which is building information modeling, and advanced sensors and controls to design, build, and operate the various systems within a building. As an architectural engineer, there are various ways to positively impact the lives of others. You can design structural systems and buildings so they are able to withstand earthquakes and tornadoes. Because of highly engineered acoustical and lighting systems that illuminate dead spots and echoes, everyone in an audience can enjoy a theater production. You could also design a lighting system for a sports stadium so that players aren't blinded by the glare, yet the HD TV cameras have enough light for the quality of instant replays. You could work with a mechanical system in an ice hockey arena, so the ice is maintained at just the right temperature. These are all examples of real world roles and real world projects that an architectural engineer may work with in their career. Here's a list of possible career paths and specializations that you may find yourself working in as an architectural engineer. You could be a pure building focused architectural engineer, which is the primary type. You could be a mechanical and plumbing systems engineer, structural systems engineer, electrical and lighting systems engineer. You could work with fire protection systems. You could work with architectural design structural design, and a few others, but those are the primary categories. There's also a list of professional societies that you should check out, you should examine for more resources and more information on architectural engineering if you're interested, and here's a list of those. The Architectural Engineering Institute, American Society of Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Engineers, Structural Engineers Association, Structural Engineering Institute, Illuminating Engineering Society, American Society of Plumbing Engineers, and the Society of Fire Protection Engineers. I do also want to say that of the 15 types of professional engineering exams, architectural engineering is one of those 15. Civil engineering has five different types and architectural is outside of that. So structural engineering within civil engineering and architectural engineering are not the same thing, they're different. Sure they cross, but they are different. Structural engineers focus more on design and material type applications within engineering, which is also embedded with a statics and a physics type education. Most of the bridge engineers that work in my office have master's degrees in structural engineering. They started with civil and they went into structural. So if you're interested in design, creativity, and working with overall systems within a building, 
or systems with some sort of societal ecosystem, like a stadium or like park systems, then potentially architectural engineering is for you. And if you're not exactly sure that you want to do architectural engineering, it's probably best that you start out with civil because what you're doing is you're niching down really early and you have to be very confident that that's what you want to do for your career if you choose architectural engineering. It's another reason why there's so few programs compared to civil engineering because it is very specialized, it is very niche. And once you go down that, if you get halfway through and you're not exactly sure if that's for you, then you're in this awkward spot. If this video helped you guys, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any more of my content. Comment below if you have a question about anything else in your engineering journey and I can make a video just for you. Give this video a like if it helped you and share it with a friend. Check out another video guys. I have so many for engineering success. Thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show guys and as always stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers!